So today I thought I would show you how to do uh, roast with a fresh roast SR700 uh, without the USB cable. Uh, basically you can use the controls right here to uh, do this and when you turn it on that's what it looks like and then if you hit the power button you'll see that it's got the timer it's got eight minutes on there and there's a fan speed of nine now you can adjust all these um, the mode here will should light up the USB it doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment but uh anyway if you hit this here, one of these will start flashing. Should. Oh, I got it on USB. That's what happened. <laughs> it did come on. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, there we go. So it's on the USB. There we go. There we go. So we want to be in the manual setting. <clears throat> and now that we're in the manual setting, now I can hit the, the arrow button. And the speed is... And I could adjust that. This would be down. And this would be back up. Uh, I want to start it. I'm going to start it at 9. Uh, high speed. That's where you want to start it. Um, I have my timer. I can change that. You can move that up and down. I'm going to leave it at 8 minutes. That's where I like the timer to be. I'm going to be roasting pretty dark uh, for an espresso. And I have it on. You can, you can do this one more time. And the... Heat setting should be flashing there. Yes, it is. Um, and I can change that with the up down, but I want to start that on low. That's how I'm gonna do my roast here. So uh, also show off my. This is my uh, bean cooler I got here. It's just a six-inch inline fan, and uh, I'll show you how that works at the end here. But uh, let me load this up and uh, get this going. So my beans here, I believe this is some El Salvador, but uh, to load this up, comes with this little scoop, and we're going to do four scoops is what we want to do in here. Alright, so I got my four scoops in there. And I just want to put the top back on. And if you notice, it's a little bit below the line there. So put the top back on. And I got it on a 9, 8, and low. So what I'm going to do is hit this button on the far right, the run. And we'll start it going. Alright, about a minute and a half in, the beans are moving pretty good. I'm going to slow the fan down one speed. Now at two minutes in, at six minutes here, I'm going to switch the heat to high. There we go. Now the heat is on high. And I'm going to trim the fan speed down one more notch. Fan is blinking and down to seven. Now at four minutes, I'm going to uh, take the fan speed down one more notch here. Got the fan blinking again. And it's set to six. Now with two and a half minutes left on the clock here, I'm going to go ahead and take it down to five on the span. And that's where I'm going to let this roast finish out at. Sometimes I stop it at one minute. 
This time I might let it go almost all the way. It seems like it's taking a little longer this time. I think we're just now getting into the first crack. But I'm mainly roasting by sound and by color. Uh, since I don't know what the actual temperature is in there. Yeah, I can hear them starting to crack now. Definitely be into the second crack now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. There's only one minute left on the timer. almost done on your timer here but I'm gonna go ahead and end it you can end it early by just hitting this button here and it'll go into the cooling and here you see it goes into cooling for three minutes all right so after the three minutes of cooling pull the top off and I can put it into my bean cooler here. See the fan. Uh, not quite as dark as I was going for, but uh, I think it'll be drinkable. I'll have fresh coffee tomorrow morning. So that's how I roast coffee without the software the USB cable on the uh, fresh roast SR 700 thanks for watching